Hello engineers and welcome to my channel. I am Yash and in this video I will show you how to set up Tailwind with React. So let's get started. So on my left side I have my terminal opened up and on right side I have a browser. So I'll just search for Tailwind CSS. So Tailwind and just hit enter. Click on the first link which says tailwindcss.com. Click here and once it opens up click on get started click on framework guides and we want to use create react app click there and let's start by doing this so this is just asking us to create a project so i'll just say npx create react app and just name it let's say tailwind css react setup and hit enter and this should take some time depending on your inter uh, on your internet speed so once it's done we will continue Okay, so installation took around like two minutes for me. And so it's uh, just completed and it says happy hacking. So next step is to CD into your project. So what I'll do is I'll just say CD Tailwind CSS React setup. So this is the folder uh, project name which I just gave and just hit enter and now you are inside. So I'll just clear this. And if you do LS, we are inside our project. Next step is to do this. You can, what you can actually do is just copy the whole thing, paste it here and just hit enter. Okay. And this is really fast. So it just finished in two seconds. Next, what you want to do is I'll just do code period. Uh, so it will open up my VS code, but if you want to use, uh, any other code editor, feel free to use it. I'll just put it right next to it. Okay. So we are on to step number three. So once again, guys, I copied the whole thing. If you are doing a one by one, so just do this, hit enter, copy this and hit enter. Okay. Next step is to copy this thing, which is already highlighted for us. And I will open up my Tailwind config and let's just bump up the size so that it's easier to see. And what I'll do is I'll remove this. So remove this and paste it right here and save the file. Okay. Next step is to copy uh, all these three lines. So just copy it and go here and open up your source and index.css, remove all this and paste it right here. Okay. And just save it. So we are done with the project. Next, what we can do is let's uh, run our server. So what I'll just say is npm start and it should run our server and I'll just put it right here. And okay, as you can see, it's loading. So uh, until then I'll close this. Let's just close this terminal. Uh, you know, let's just bring it down next we can uh, so remove app.css and what we'll do is inside app.js let's also remove all this imports and so right now uh, installation is completed we are just testing it out so what I'll do is I'll just create one h1 and let's just say hello tailwind and save it and we can see hello tailwind here right so by default tailwind applies base classes so now let's just test like whether everything works fine or not. So I'll just say class name and close my sidebar and let's start by doing text seven XL hit enter and let's do font bold and we can also do text red uh, 500 and save Ta -da! it works. So guys tailwind is successfully installed if you see this colors and bigger fonts. Okay, so you are good to go. Thank you for watching.